All right, uh, the people over at Elecro uh, sent in another product for review. Um, I like, they gave me a little sticker here. I like their little crow on the, uh, on the uh, robot here. Um, in case you hadn't watched the other video, uh, they, sell a, uh, <clears throat> they sell a little uh, robotic thing for like STEM uh, kids and stuff, you know, to do all kinds of things with. Um, and uh, the cool thing about the, the crowbot, you know, it's got sensors and it can zip around and do things like that. So it's like a, it's like a standard, you know, beginning robot uh, uh, platform for people who are interested in, in, in robotics. Um, the cool thing about this product, though, is uh, you can get a controller for it. Um, and this is the controller that they sell. And let me turn it on here. It's got a nice little OLED display in it. And you can control the, 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 the crowbot with the joysticks and the, and the, and the buttons and everything. Let me, let me turn it off. It's looking to pair, pair Bluetooth. So it has Bluetooth built in. I think it might even have Wi-Fi built in. Um, it's got uh, USB. Um, the cool thing about this product is that it's, it's a fully open source. So you can get schematics. In fact, the PC board is all labeled with all of the pins for the ESP32. Um, so it's a really nice platform. I thought, oh, wow, this is a super cheap way to get a controller. Maybe, you know, maybe you begin with a, ro with a crowbot and then you end up with, a, with an R2D2 or something and you want a little thing to control it with. And you could use this because it's completely open source, right? And it's, it, it was really reasonable price. I think this was less than $30. Um, and I thought, well, that's a great platform. I could hack into it. And like I said, they give you full source code and they give you full schematics and everything. So, you know, instead of reinventing the wheel, you know, just get one of these. Well, I think we've gone one step further. So the product they sent me today is this. And this is a display and um, it has a camera also, but it's laid out such that it's uh, basically, it doesn't really do anything. It's for you to do something with. It's got two, um, they have these, uh, their own interface. I don't know if it's compatible with something else. I think they call them crow tails. <laughs> um, but they have two analog ports, two digital ports, a UART port, an I squared C port, uh, uh, a place for a LiPo battery. Um, it's set up for ESP32, so it's got the reset and boot switches on it and everything. So, so what is it? Well, let me, let me plug it in so, so it'll do something. Um, it is a uh, three and a half inch touchscreen uh, terminal. They, ca they call it a terminal. And uh, it comes with a little, just kind of a little demo thing here of, of what you might, what you can do with it. And to show off the speed, um, it's a SPI uh, display and it's touchscreen. Okay, so you get touchscreen. Um, they show off, you know, how the buttons, uh, the buttons are, are operational and stuff. Just, just to give you an idea of what you can, what you can do with this thing. Um, and to show you scrolling and, and just, just how fast it is and everything. So... You can download some uh, open source programs from them to, uh, that'll teach you how to do all the different things and stuff. Um, uh, I've requested them to send me schematics and open source for this, so we'll see if that comes. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll continue this video if I can get more information on it. Um, it comes with uh, a bunch of things. We could probably read about it online, but it comes with an Omnivision camera. Uh, shout out to my friends over at Omnivision. I know quite a few of them. <laughs> um, let's see here. What else does it have? Um, yeah, it, it's, it's super nice. This thing is $34. $34. Um, I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah. It, I mean, to add to your, pro, your, pro, progr uh, your program, it's got a, a slot for, for, for memory, you know, your, your uh, mini uh, 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 micro USB card can go into here. It's got like everything you need for your project. Uh, it's got uh, Wi-Fi, it's got Bluetooth. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about maybe using its UART function because sometimes I just want a dumb terminal and I don't want to lag, bring out my laptop or everything. Maybe I can make this into a dumb terminal. That'd be super cool. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I haven't really done much with it other than just kind of stare at it here. So I think the first thing we'll do is, um, uh, <clears throat> I think we'll open it up. Let's open up the back. It, it's a real dark plastic, and uh, uh, let's see what's let's see what's inside. All right, let's uh, take it off here. 
Uh, there is a uh, a little spacer. So it's just two pieces here. There's a, a spacer and then a, uh, a cover. So yeah, let's look inside. So it has a um, ESP32 uh, S3 V room dash one. So it has the Wi Fi in it there. Um, I don't know if that's Wi Fi and Bluetooth. I don't, I don't remember how these work. Um, so that's there. Here's the UART. Uh, it looks like the, uh, yeah, it looks like the PC board again has the identifier. So this is IO43, is transmit, and IO44 is, is receive. Uh, so it's labeled right on the PC board. Here's the I squared C. Um, it says here, uh, SCL is IO1 and, and uh, the data is IO2. Here's a buzzer. Is that a buzzer? No, it's a microphone. I think that's a microphone. Uh, I think. Anyway, it's IO45, USB C, boot. Um, see here, what else do we have? Looks like there's a little power circuit here, inductor, another one over here. Um, okay, then it has the data lines. So the data is IO11 and uh, 5 volts and ground. And this one is IO40, uh, 5 volts and ground. Uh, doesn't look like you get two data pins. Looks like you just get one data pin here and one data pin here. I'm not really sure about that. I bet you there's two. I bet you there's an in and an out, an in and an out, but... Um, I've asked for schematics for this thing, so we'll see if we can get them. Uh, and then there's analog ones. There's IO20, IO19, and these are three volt uh, sections. So 3.3 in ground and 3.3 in ground. So yeah, three volt versions and um, four volt, uh, five volt versions. Now, I would imagine they're configurable. So even though they call them analog and digital, I bet you they're completely swappable in the ESP32. Uh, this is the uh, micro SD card. This is the little um, camera. The camera's a little bit how you doing. It's kind of flopping around, kind of flopping around, but I'm sure somebody could uh, 3D print something and glue it on or whatever. Make it more reg rigid if you want, or you can just remove it. If, it's not, if you don't need it for your application, you can just remove it with this connector. Um, LiPo battery. Uh, yeah. I like it. It's got two um, studs here, mounting studs, so you, you can um, uh, mount this thing to something else by, by some, it uh, looks like uh, M3 screws. Yeah, I like it. They do good work. These, these guys, over, these engineers over there, I really am, am impressed with the quality of the engineering that comes out of that company. Oh, it says buzzer right on it. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. <laughs> read the read it. It says buzzer right there. Buzzer. Uh, I thought I read it had a microphone somewhere, so I'm not sure if that's true or not. Uh, there's a little connector here that goes to that thing that goes to the display. So, yeah, the display is... Oh, that's probably the touch. Yeah, that's probably the touch part of the display. And this is the display part of the display. Uh, flex cables go off to the front. Um, see if I can notice anything else here. Uh, a little U, a U over there. What is he? He's kind of a sneaky little guy. What is he? Maybe that's, is that a microphone? What is that? Oh, I can't read it. I'm not sure what that is. A little metal can. Yeah, I'll put this thing back together. All right, um, I'm going to go see if I can uh, program this thing, see if I can uh, um, get it up and running. I think it'll, uh, you can use the Arduino uh, um, environment to, to program this thing, just like any other uh, ESP32. So yeah, I um, might give that a try. You can just see the update, uh, f refresh rate of the update on the screen here. Um, it is a pretty, pretty nice, fast display. 
All right, so I was able to program this thing. Um, let me put some power on it. We'll power it up. <clears throat> and it should do a, a red, green, blue, and then, uh, and then type SimSci guy. So I was able to talk to the display. Uh, the, the data lines are gonna be easy to talk to. Um, so I contacted the um, seller and at, at least at the time this video is being uh, taped, um, the schematics are not available for this, for this yet. And the program that demos things isn't available yet. So <clears throat> there are a couple programs that uh, I was able to do, but I was not able to get the camera to work. I was able to get the display to work. Um, there, uh, there is a microphone in here. It's next to the, uh, it's next to the uh, uh, SD card. There's a little chip down there, um, but I'm not quite sure what the chip is and how to talk to it yet. So anyway, it, it's, uh, it could be a nice product, but it, it, right now it's just kind of not quite there, not quite ready for prime time. Um, I think if they do uh, come up with uh, with the schematics for this and some some better. Um, some better program demo programs for it. I think it'll I think it'll be an okay product. The only thing I don't like is the little camera. It's just very very fragile fragile out there. But I am I am a fan of this thing uh, if they could fix a couple things because uh, it is a good price. It has great performance. I just don't think I can recommend it right now unless you're you know a real hacker and uh, are able to uh, are able to use it as is. Uh, otherwise, it's just not quite ready.